Hello oh, guys, I'm Steve. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video. If it's your first time stopping by the channel, hit that subscribe button. Trust me, you won't regret it. If you're a returning subscriber, as always, guys, welcome back. And I do appreciate the support, guys. Listen, the city of Detroit, shout out Detroit, Michigan, you know what I'm saying, is uh, being sued. And they're under fire for some events that have been happening over the last few years. And uh, it's involving this lady right here, man. This lady's name is uh, Geraldine Johnson. She's 59 years old. She's been a bus driver for the city of Detroit. A lot of people know her, both on the bus line and outside of the bus line. This lady's made uh, news during her 26 years of uh, being with uh, DDOT. She has accumulated 19 accidents, either with other buses or other motor vehicles, including two fatalities. One fatality was recent in the last in the last few months. The lady's name is Janice Bauer. She's not pictured up here, but you'll see her in this video I'm about to show you. She's 67 years old. Guys, like I said, the city of Detroit is being sued, and I think they're going to have to pay through the nodes for trying to cover up or trying to help out this woman and, you know, wipe the slate clean and have her back there out on the road. Now, some of the stuff they're going to show you in this video is kind of graphic. And uh, it's going to leave you at the end of the video saying, why would anybody have this woman behind the wheel? Now, this woman was locked up and she faced uh, charges. I don't know if she's still locked up or not. But uh, this is something you really got to take a look at. This is some craziness. Check this out, guys. Taryn Rube, when you hear a number like 19 on the job accidents, you almost can't believe it, but it is true. Now, this is where Geraldine Johnson hit her final victim, a woman named Janice Bauer. Right here behind me, she was crossing Congress when she was hit by Johnson. Now, uh, she is facing a misdemeanor charge. Yes, a misdemeanor charge for killing Bauer. That's going through the courts right now. But as you mentioned, there's a pending civil suit, and through that investigation, we are learning some very shocking details about the driver's past. How in the heck was she able to keep her job? That is the logical question. That was my first response when I started investigating all these priors. 19 on the job accidents, including two fatalities during Geraldine Johnson's tenure with DDOT as a bus driver and several write-ups for reckless driving. I'm concerned that there may be other bus drivers on the road right now similarly situated and there may be future victims. Attorney Heather Atnip is representing the family of 67 year old Janice Bauer hit and killed by Johnson this past summer. There she is crossing the street with a walk signal at Congress in Griswold downtown heading to work. When Johnson makes a left turn running Janice over twice, Atnip says data from the bus shows she actually accelerated upon impact, causing the second set of tires to crush Bauer. What's interesting is that Ms. Johnson never left the bus to go and check on the individual that she had just ran over. She remained in the bus screaming the entire time. Seconds before, in-bus video shows Johnson talking to a passenger where she's not supposed to be. And then here's the audio of Johnson as she hits Janice. <laughs> Identical to her reaction while running over and killing a passenger, Joey Davis, as he pulled his bike from the rack on the front of her bus in 2015. <laughs> After that incident, personnel records show Johnson took almost two years off on medical per the contract through a homologated transit union. An employee off the job for 18 months or more can't be disciplined and the record is wiped clean. Johnson requested to be taken to the hospital after hitting Janice too. Even Detroit police officers at the scene knew the driver by name. Listen to their body worn cameras. Remember what my man said at the law department. He was like, her again? He said, it's our third or fourth case with her. While the city and mayor's office are not commenting on the civil suit Atnip plans to file, Deputy Mayor Todd Bettison said this. The fact that existing policies were not able to prevent the driver's second fatal accident is a serious concern for the mayor, and we're exploring potential changes to better prevent such accidents in the future. 
The loss for the Bauer family, unimaginable, especially for one of Janice's siblings who's disabled. And she was the primary caregiver and uh, social companion. They were best friends. And so, you know, there's been a great loss to the family. Even listening to that back, all you can do is, is shake your head, and there's still a lot of questions to be answered. As we said, Johnson is facing a misdemeanor for the uh, fatality involving Janice Bauer, who we talked about in this story. Now, pretrial starts for that case on Monday. We talked to her attorney asking about the latest developments, the video you saw. She said she didn't want to comment. She's focusing on that, that uh, criminal case that I said working through the courts. Reporting live downtown Detroit, Jessica Dupnack on the edge. Guys, that's the story about Miss Geraldine Johnson. And uh, I got to admit, man, when I seen that, I was like, yo, I was just, I was shocked at the negligence that the city of Detroit, what the Department of Transportation mainly, did to try to cover this thing up or buck the system. And it backfired on them. Two people lost their lives. And they lost their lives in a bad way, man. Getting run over by a bus. You know how heavy that is? If you Google bus injury, run over by a bus and look what the bus do to the human body, it's a damn shame. Now, this lady, do I think she's a bad person? No. You know what I'm saying? Apparently, people liked her. She liked the city of Detroit. And I just don't think she should have been riding on the bus. Now, I do blame her for one thing. Ma'am, you caused a bad fatality that first time. And you chose to get behind the wheel again. That's the thing. People go through traumatic events, man. They have guilt. They feel bad. But over time, things heal. They probably make it, you know, she's making pretty decent money, probably has a pension and all of that. She went back to work. That was a personal choice. This time you ran somebody over again. 19 accidents. You hit other buses. I know a lot of bus uh, companies in different cities that right there get you turned. Uh, terminated because you can't pay for the damages. They said they kept her out of work because after two years, it goes away. She can't be charged. That's foul for them to even do that. People lost their lives that were customers that relied on the services of this uh, bus. You seen the first guy she ran over, he was right in front of her face and she just looked and didn't see him. How did she pass the driving test? All bus drivers have to know how to use their mirrors and how to maneuver that bus because of its size. They got that bus rack thing on there. I'm sure they gave them training. Hey, don't pull away until you look and make sure ain't nobody in front of the bus. The city is don't need a lawsuit. That's the last thing they need. She called several. I don't know. She must have been a hell of a person. Then you see the police. They police knew her already. It was like she did this again. Oh, my God. Now, this lady got locked up on a. Misdemeanor homicide. I ain't never heard of that with a with a vehicle. I didn't know killing somebody in the car is a misdemeanor. Did she mean to do it? No, nah, she didn't mean to do it. I don't think she's a bad person. I just think she shouldn't have been behind the wheel and the city should have did better in protecting the citizens and themselves against lawsuits by keeping her out of that. She should she should she have got fired or anything like that? I don't know what their policy was, but if you was gonna bring this woman back. In a capacity of having her still be with your company, should have put her in the office somewhere. That's just my that's my how I see it. Now, ain't nothing funny about this thing, but you know me, I'm crazy. When she was screaming and jumping up down, all that stuff, screaming, she kept driving the bus over the people. Like, what? If you hit somebody, I would stop while I'm screaming. She hit people and just kept going, like, ah, you know what I'm saying? Now, I don't know. People scream. People do things when they under stress. I guess that's her thing. But she kept driving, though. That's the thing. Then the butt man. Listen. There's another video out here that it shows the bus run over her with the back tire. I don't know if this video uh, showed it, but the bus lifted up all the way to the bus went on this woman. When they was uh, when they ran her over. It was two bystanders on the side. The woman hit her face into the man. The man just hit her like, yo, don't look, don't look. Jesus Christ. That's a gruesome thing to see a human being splattered all over the uh, sidewalk. But what's worse is 
the lack of empathy for the company that employed this woman that did this. You know, you work for the city. The city employs you. Though uh, Miss uh, Janice Bauer wasn't uh, uh, riding on the bus, she was still doing the right thing, going to work and paying taxes like everybody else. So her voice should count. I don't know about the jail time with this law or whatever, but I mean, she wasn't paying attention. Got to be a penalty for that. Some type of punishment got to be dished out. And she might be a good person. She just wasn't paying attention. I mean, great responsibility being a bus driver. She didn't, you know, take that into consideration. It's just messed up. But I mean, I saw the story. I had to show y'all like, man, I can't believe, you know, you think. And like a lot of people out here walk like, yeah, I'll catch me a lawsuit. Yeah, all right. a bus hit you. You ain't going to catch nothing. For real. I'm Stock Market Steve for the Dynamic Reason Channel. <laughs> Made both victims rest in peace. Uh, they're, they're driving over them and screaming and keep going. That's the part that, man, it leaves a new meaning to Jesus. Take the wheel, I guess. I'll see you in the next video. Take care.